Hello, people. I want to talk about something. I'm going to make this as short as I can. But today, uh, there was an interview between OC Shorts and Sammy Gravano. No problem. You know, if people want to bow to the feet of Sammy Gravano or join his cult, they're more than entitled to it. But if you're going to bow to his feet, at least ask a tough question. And by what I mean by that, Sammy Gravano, once again, came by. Okay, you have the Faraci family in here. You got Joy in here. You got, uh, she goes and watches these shows. She defends Alan Kaiser all the time. And then you let this man on your platform to once again tell a lie about what happened the night that Kaiser was killed. If any research was done on this, you could look at the autopsy reports, which I'm sure you didn't look at. You can listen to any show that I have up on it. You can listen to uh, shows that Angel Gotti has up on it. You can even reach out on Facebook or something like that and talk to Joy about it. But nope, 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 nope. You'd rather have Sammy on. So Sammy's been, I put a video up on Monday and it was on Sammy having no regrets. And I put the video up. I put up exactly what he said and he's still crying about it. Sammy, this is three days in a row. You're still crying about that damn video. Come on. You know, me and you have a special bond, Sammy. And I'm going to continue to make you my special bond because, you know, as people know, this is my last week on this channel. But here's one thing I promise. Once a month, I will be giving James a video to put out on Sammy Gravano. And I will be making him nice. Really, really nice. I love being on this channel for three years. I built this from nothing, from one sub. Now we average 20 to 30,000 subs a day. And that's the thank you people, because you gave in a platform here where people listen. And people say, okay, here we go with Alan Kaiser again. Yeah, you're right. We go with Alan Kaiser again, because of the fact that you had somebody come on and once again, upset that family by rehashing the lies that he's telling about Alan Kaiser. Sammy said that Alan Kaiser ran toward Louis Melito and the front seat driver ordered the hit. Sammy, that's not true. That's not what happened. You've had several stories on this. You've de you developed that story when you started your show, our thing, then you develop that story. But that was never the story, Sammy. And you know that was never the story. And if, if Shorts did his research, he would know that that's not the story. And I'm glad that this is going to be my final show for you, Sammy. Uh, I mean, on here officially, but I will be given more. Sammy, I'm not going to go anywhere when it comes to you. Because you are an evil man. And you've got like a cult-like following of people that just think your shit don't stink when your shit stinks the most. And when they say, oh, they're good, they bow before your feet because they say, oh, Sammy's going to give us subs. And uh, as long as I don't ask him tough questions. But you know what? Before Sammy goes on any of these shows, he tells people what he they can ask and what they can't ask. So, and the only reason you're discussing, here's the only reason you, you wanted to discuss that, uh, that um, whole thing with Kaiser, because I pissed you off on Monday, and I'm going to show the video that pissed you off. This is the video. On the show, he says the, he says the OC shorts on the show. Here's exactly what he says. Hold on one second. Uh, that's something I talked about. Um, and then, you know, they, there's guys out there like what we we're just talking about, how to distorting uh, this genre, talking about each other and doing all these things. And you know, there's one where I was talking about, I have no regrets. I was talking about a story that had nothing to do with anything like that. And then they put that in. You know, they said, "Hey, look, he has no regrets," and he shows this, this kid's picture. Now, of course, I had regrets. They, they cut out my conversation. They just put in that one part. Um, if you hear the whole conversation, you hear I do have regrets about a lot of things. 
Now, uh, about that kid, um, there was a guy, there was a contract on him. I can't think of his name right now. Um, there was a contract on him. I can't think of his name right now. Um, there, because I'm not going to get into rehashing him going over to murder again and making up a lie on how the man was murdered. Okay. Uh, and he wasn't a man. I'm sorry. He was a 16 year old boy, but here's the video that's really upset Sammy. And he's been upset all week. And when I put this video up, I never thought much about it. I never thought that this, this thing was going to piss him off so bad that he's been talking. He talked about it on Monday show. This is the third time this week. He's talked about this. I have no regrets of what I've done. And I look back at even my prison time. I've learned how to become me. Now, so many things in my life. I went to prison uh, for ecstasy. I got a 20-year sentence. I did 17 years, seven months. I, first six and a half years of that time was in the hole. I hated it. It was so lonely. It was, I've never felt loneliness like that in my life. I'm happy it was not to me. I know I felt things that I would not, not normally feel. I felt hate. I felt when you're a strong person and you had serious problems, life or death situations that will that you become stronger. I look at myself and what I've done. I have no regrets. You hear that? I have no regrets. Do you? You didn't say this is a part of any other story, Sammy. Prove me wrong. Put up the video. I seen that interview. You said, I have no regrets. That means getting your kids involved in drug dealing, your family involved in drug dealing. That means murdering your friends, murdering your partners, and most of all, murdering Alan Kaiser. Okay? Remember why you talked to me when I came to see you in Arizona? Because it was... I asked you about Alan Kaiser and then your dimwit son uh, threw a punch, uh, a, a cheap shot and punched me in the temple. He didn't smack me. We called each other cocksuckers and we moved on. Okay. But if you're going to come on here and continue the lies about Alan Kaiser, then I got to prove you wrong. We, uh, and if Mr. Schwartz did his job like he should have done, um, he would have known that um, I interviewed uh, about maybe a month ago uh, um, the, the man that went and seen the body laying dead in the street. He seen Alan Kaiser's body laying there face down with a bullet in the back of his head. As he was running, he was trying to run away. He wasn't running toward the car, Sammy. Or you also said that he was a drug addict. Autopsy reports showed he had no drugs in his body. And you put this out here, knowing that this family's listening, and you don't care. And people are willing to help you put this fake narrative out, this fake story out. And the only reason you're out here doing this right now, Sammy, is because of this one simple video. I have no idea. But I'm honored that I rally you up because I'm honored for this guy right here, Alan Kaiser. Shorts, this is Alan Kaiser, just so you know. The family came on. And Joy, Joy, whose sister's husband described when he went to the scene, he seen him laying there. He was wearing uh, in the, in the, with the blood in the jeans. He witnessed the body in the street. Sammy didn't witness the body in the street. Sammy ran. He ran away from the scene. And not only that, maybe you'll understand that this he was a boy. He he should have grandkids now. But because of Sammy, he has no grandkids. Sammy keeps making it okay. Sammy always says, I'm glad that this one died and this one died. And then says he has regrets. This man has no regrets. Okay. Let me. So what I'm trying to say 
Sammy Gravano is about as evil as you can get. And Sammy, you're not going to see me in this channel no more. You'll see my videos every once in a while pop up with me doing them like this and calling you out on your stuff because you need to be called out. That's why Mikey Scars is here because he calls you out because you continuously lie. You make stories up. And you know, the shame part, Sammy, is you don't have to. You were the underboss of the Gambino family, but you choose to do it. You're the Superman in every story. <clears throat> but this story is the one that bothers people the most because you have a kid here that, that you murdered and that the FBI went to their house years later, went to their house after you confessed like a coward because you did not want to do no time. And then you blame John Gotti on that too. You know, so you didn't want to do any time. So you said, okay, I'll go, I'll, go, I'll go tell the FBI everything. And then right away, you're saying that I wouldn't lie to the FBI because they can ruin my deal. Do you know how many people go before the FBI and lie about what's going on and what they did in their life to make themselves look bigger? The only history we have of the shooting of Paul Castellano is you. So the chances are a lot of it's BS. And listen, I like Short's work, but sometimes he goes down that that lane. And, and today was one of those days where he went down that lane or whenever he shot the show. It was like, oh, Sammy's here. Oh, my God. And then, Shorts, you sounded like you were trying to, you, you said to him, oh, boy, you went to the FBI and you told him this, you told him that. Do you understand, Shorts, that informants 90, 95% of the time are lying about a bunch of stuff they tell the feds? Do you understand this? It would have been so easy for you to reach out to, to Joy uh, to Joy Farachi. And then he told you that he told the family he was sorry. He never reached out to nobody. He said his kids reached out to try to reach that, uh, to get a hold of Joy. Never. Nobody's ever reached out to that family. And who told me this? The murder victim's sister. And this is the problem. This is the problem with the mob genre. Like Sammy says, oh, the mob genre is messed up and everybody's going after. Every Sammy, that's what you do. You go after everybody. You went after Louis Melito's wife. You went after Peter Gotti, making fun of their looks like you're handsome. You're like a dwarf and you think you're handsome. So you went after, you go after people all the time. Oh, oh, do we need evidence that you go after people all the time, especially people that piss you off? Do we need that evidence? Okay. This is how kind you are, Sammy. I don't know if you remember this, but this is the things that you do right there. Give me one second. Okay. Here we go. Remember this, Sammy? This is how... I had that asshole, uh, Lee, uh, the fucking Cole come and try to... Hey, try to muscle me, stupid motherfucker. He's lucky that it's now. Years ago, I wish he would have did that. Lee Cole would have got a good uh, uh, example of what the mafia really is. Bro, I would have invited him right into Tally's. Come on in, Lee. Come on in and sit down. And my guys would have just smiled and said, all right, Sammy, I'm going to get the bag. You all good. To they, he ain't going out of Tally's no more. But the, that's animal. the old days, and this is the new days. He got a little slap in the face. It was like a bitch cry. Okay. No slap in the face. It was a sucker punch to the temple. And Gerard hits like a girl. I had no trouble driving away. He tried to knock me out. He couldn't do it. Tried to get my phone. He couldn't get a hold of it. Father like son. Two idiots. Two idiots. And then we have these people that want to join the cult of Sammy Gravano. When when I came back, when I came back from that trip and I put up the video of, of, of that whole incident, here was the opening to that incident, right? 
Hey, Sammy, how you doing? I said, hey, Sammy, how you doing? Does that sound like I was being aggressive towards Sammy whatsoever? Hey, Sammy. You see, I got so far underneath your skin, Sammy, anything I do now bothers you. But when we put things out, we put facts out. And the facts are you are not telling the truth about the Alan Kaiser uh, murder. The facts are that you weren't called on it today at all. Basically, well, you gave the report to them, Sammy, so it must be true. But see, this is what happens when you get caught up with informants. And I've been there. When you get caught up with informants, you go down that bad highway. And so you've, that show's officially become an informant show. And then people will say, well, I'm just putting out the story. Okay, okay. You're going to put out the story. If the guy comes there, be tough on him. Don't just give him that scenario and it, it, there's nothing, there's no challenge whatsoever. And then a family has to hear him lie again. And not only did he lie, he sat there for 12 minutes, 12 minutes talking about that. 12 long minutes that those people have to hear that crap again. <laughs> Think about that. And we wonder why uh, people around here get angry at one another. And Sammy, stop making excuses because you are the one that attacks people on here. You've attacked everybody. You've attacked Dominic Ciccoli. You've attacked, uh, um, you've attacked uh, uh, Mikey Scars. God knows how many times you've attacked me. You attack my partner. You attack people all the time. Angel Gotti, her family, John Gotti, uh, John Gotti Jr., Peter Gotti. It doesn't stop. John A. Light. On and on and on. You just attack people. So people, all I can say is do not bow at the feet of Sammy Gravano because he is a 78-year-old man that's on his way to hell. And he, when you don't want to take any remorse in anything you do, regret and remorse are two different things. Regretting to do, doing something like regretting punching someone in the face is different than having remorse for some, hitting someone in the face. You're not capable of regret. You're not capable of remorse. And with that, I'm going to say to you people, I've had a great time here. I've had a great time on this channel. And please give James all the support that you can. He's going to be, James is going to be doing OC, OC Shorts type biography videos. And let me tell you something about James. James, nobody does stuff better than James when it comes to research. So you're going to actually get real research with real facts and no bowing or kissing the feet of informants. Goodbye, people. Love you all.